Okay. So we're going to the third air mass. Third air mass is the maritime tropical air mass. Remember that maritime tropical air mass? It's a bomb air mass. So please don't use the word bomb in the examination. Sachin sir said bomb is a bomb. No, no. I'm saying it has all the all the requirements of an atmospheric drama. It has the heat. It has the moisture. So it has the heat and the moisture. That is the leading requirement for all atmospheric drama, all instability and everything. Only thing is that it requires some surface, some surface which will initiate everything, initiate that instability. Hear that? If this air mass moves out of its source region, yes, and in this case on, on public demand, if I take it as Indian subcontinent, so my air mass is Arabian Sea or Bay of Bengal air mass. So in Bay of Bengal air mass, because of summer's heating, a lot of evaporation is happening, that air mass is hot and moist and it decides to move towards the coast of Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh. That is your maritime tropical air mass. When it comes on the land, it is MTK because land is always warmer than water in tropical areas. That's the climatic rule that we have taken that. So it becomes MTK. So it is cooler than that. And because the underlying surface is U or warm, it becomes MTKU. Maritime, tropical, cold, unstable. This air mass, when it is coming, it is acquiring a lot of moisture, strong pressure gradient as a result in the tropical area. In the tropical area, what will happen? Many tropical phenomena like heavy convection will start. Rising air will not rise just vertically. It will start spiraling. It will start spiraling because of the Coriolis force. So that rising will give birth to storms. In the extreme cases, cyclones. That cyclone is coming towards the land. Remember MTK U. It is unstable. So what clouds will be there? It will not just be stratus clouds. It will be stratus, stratocumulus, cumulus, cumulonimbus, starring clouds. Heavy thunder, heavy lightning, heavy precipitation, that's going to happen because as I told you, this air mass has everything that is needed to bomb it. Do we get that? So that is what is maritime tropical air mass when it comes on land. Now I will have to move from Indian subcontinent. I'll have to go to an open area because here I'm not able to reach the polar areas because Indian Ocean is blocked in the north for polar areas. Yes or no? So if this maritime tropical air mass of Atlantic Ocean, of Atlantic Ocean in the Caribbean Sea. Remember Caribbean has an equal thing. They don't call it cyclone, they call it the hurricanes. Yes? In the Atlantic Ocean, if it starts moving northward, if it starts going towards the Newfoundland region, remember? Greenland, Newfoundland region. There it is carrying the maritime tropical. It has warmth, it has got moisture also. It reaches the cooler waters cooler waters, those waters are cold from below. As a result, this will get stabilized. This should get stabilized. And all the people who were talking about advection fog, remember this is the warm air and the ocean near Newfoundland is colder, Labrador Sea is colder. And if the temperature, if this air is moving and if the temperature touches its dew point, what will happen to the air? Fog will form. You have heard fog forms because of mixing of water. Fog does not form because of mixing of ocean currents. It is formed because of this air mass getting mixed over there. Do we get that? That kind of advection fog which we took the example in case of Canada, Vancouver can happen even in these areas. But this air mass is stable. Why? Because it is cooled from below. So precipitation will not be heavy. So if it was going on land, what will happen? Precipitation will be very, very heavy. So if I am to show this, if I am to show this, I can, as somebody requested, sir, please show us in the context of India. So this is my equator. This is around my 30 degrees. I can show only the maritime tropical moving towards land. Empty. You are colder and you are unstable. Dangerous air mass. It can acquire the shape of a cyclone. Cyclone may hit here. Cyclone may hit here, cyclone may hit here, it can even go to Bangladesh. This is called recurving of cyclone. We will learn all that. We will learn all that. But this is you, unstable. What is it doing? Heavy, convective, instability. We have already used these words. Very heavy cloud formation. So all those cloud formation, 
all layers of clouds will be there, starting from stratus to cirrus. All of them, stratus, cumulus, cirrus will be there. The biggest thing is cumulo nimbus is the criteria which is going to be here. The conditions will be cyclonic. Conditions will be cyclonic. Precipitation will be very heavy precipitation. Instability is air or strong wind. When we call this wind, gale force wind. So this was MT moving towards land. And if we or are taking the example of the case 2, which we had MT moving towards pole. Here near Newfoundland, it becomes MT W S. Here it is stable. So remember what was happening? Advection fog. Fog can be there. Light rain. If at all. Whatever is happening. And this is stable condition. Case 2. Case 1. Is everyone okay with that? Please note down and if you have questions, please ask me. Take a minute, take a minute, take a minute. This is Gulf Stream. This is Labrador current. They will mix over it. So, why is fog created by the mixing of currents? Current is, current is an oceanic phenomenon. Yes, current will do what? Current will do, give some temperature to the sea. And fog is an atmospheric phenomenon. Fog will be created if the dew point is reached. So dew point is reached, that is what we are looking at. So it is not just mixing of the current. Maybe the dew point is never reached when the air is above uh, Gulf Stream. But moment it comes in contact with Labrador, which is cooler, there it will. Yes. But that region is there where that boundary is coming. So fog, fog is being created because of advection, dew point being reached because the surface below is colder. And you are stable. So mo not much rain is there, but if it happens, it will be in the form of this thing. And I also want to tell you, if the rain is happening, Rain will happen on account of a temperate cyclone. Rain will happen on account of a temperate cyclone. Temperate cyclones are created where the two air masses mix. And if you are worried, I don't know temperate cyclone, I will tell you. Liquid. Yes, Ashwin. Yes, sir. So the reason for the fog is that the underlying surface is so cold, be it land, be it water, that the dew point of the air is reached. So whenever warm air is moving towards cold surfaces, cold surfaces, the chance of fog formation comes over there. When we were talking of Canada and Europe, we said Europe will have more. Why? Because European waters have that warm water of Gulf Stream and North Atlantic drift. 